Now, you all know that I love to talk about digital data, but you don't have to do it with me. You can do it by yourself. And I'm going to show you how with my digital data collection guide. It's going to walk you step by step through the process um, so that you can be able to create your own digital data collection Google Forms all by yourself without any help from me other than this free guide that I'm literally going to send you if you want it. Um, so I'm gonna show you what the digital data guide looks like. And then if you're like, wait, no, I still need more help. I do have a course so that you can see this and what it looks like and how to set it up in under 15 minutes. It's an under 15 minute video. It'll show you step-by-step step what to do. And you can use this guide to follow along with it if you forgot how to do it. So let me show you what this guide looks like. Awesome. So this is the free guide that you can download with the link below. I will make sure that it is there for you um, so that you can make your own digital data collection Google Forms. I am so excited because, you know, I'm just, I nerd out about it. So there is a notes page if you're like, no, I need to take some notes. If you take my course, um, if you attend one of my workshops so that we can do them, them together, um, this will be here for you. Okay, so some of the buttons that you might need to know, right? The add a question button, you can import questions. I've never done that, but you can. Uh, add a title and description. This is really helpful if you want to break down which goal you are looking at. Um, so that is there. Add an image, also really great. If you want to add in maybe just a snapshot of what the worksheet looks like that they're supposed to be working on. Add a video. You can even add a video of like training your staff of how to take data on that goal. You can totally do that. Add a section. This is going to be your best friend. The add a question and add a section are the two that you use the most. And so the add a section will create different sections for each of your IEP goals. So when you add a question, you can figure out what type of question you want. So a lot of them I put as a short answer, but if you're looking for something really specific, it could be a multiple choice or it could be a checkbox. I use checkboxes a lot with prompting. So if you're looking for a specific prompt, that would be the checkbox. Um, but also date is important too, or if you're looking for behavior and time, also very important. You can add a password. And again, I show you how to do that. Um, you just click add a question. It should be a regular expression that matches whatever your password is, and then put incorrect next to it. Um, so sometimes I use a school mascot, sometimes I use a paper color, the classroom number, whatever, something like that, and make sure it is required. Um, after that, we are gonna add a section and make sure um, I put in the basic information for that student, which has the date, staff collecting, and the goal area. Um, and I do put all of those as required, super important. And then we're gonna go to section based on answer. I think that's it, yep. Um, put benchmarks in on the goals, super helpful. Then add a comment section, always really helpful if you want, need to add another note or things. And then after each section, you are gonna make sure it says submit form, super important. Now you're gonna repeat that until all your goals are created. Then you can send the form to, right? Send the form versus collaborators. There's two different boxes. And I explained that there for you. Um, after collecting the data, there will be spreadsheets. We're gonna create new spreadsheets and then we're gonna highlight the ones that are important to us. So it's a date and the data to create a chart, and then it'll look like this. You can add a trend line, you can add lots of different things. You can change the color, you can change the titles, all these things. And then this is my favorite to add a QR code. I use Google Chrome's QR code generator. Um, super great, just copy that link, paste it into there, and it'll make your QR code for you. Um, that's it. Of course, I have a course if you need some more help with setting up digital data, but of course this quick guide should really help you get there and get focused. But then I also have templates for you as well if that's something you're interested in. So hopefully it was helpful to see kind of this quick guide. Um, again, it is a free download, so you are welcome to go ahead and download it with the link below.